What is going on, everybody? I want to try to explain to you the magic of Games Workshop's contrast paint. Now, I don't have the contrast paint yet, but from my understanding, the paint is like a glaze that retracts or shrinks into the crevices and that's going to leave a tr thin transparent layer in some areas and a thick transparent layer in the recesses. Now I'm going to demonstrate the theory around how that works with these black gloves. If, if I take one of these clear transparent card sleeves, okay, now picture this is your paint, your contrast paint, and your model, say, is primed black. Probably not how you would use this, but bear with me. The contrast paint over the primer is going to slightly change the surface. So you have the black glove, and where the contrast paint is, is right there. Right? Makes sense? Now, this contrast paint because it's transparent, yet builds up in the recesses, creates a wide range of transparency to opacity on the model. Now, that means when you're doing it over an off-white, like an ivory bone, like they're suggesting, in the thin layers, it's going to be ivory bone, tinted with whatever color you use. And in the recesses, it's going to be a solid version of whatever color you use. And because your color you used plus off-white is going to be a lighter version than the color as a complete whole, right? So picture this again. Here's your, this is the contrast paint, a clear plastic sleeve over a black glove, all right? Now, what I understand is supposed to happen is in the recesses, the paint will build up and create an opaque layer. Now that means like that. These are still all individually transparent sleeves, but when there are lots of thin transparent layers, in the, in the case of the contrast paint, it'll be lots of transparent pigment on top of each other stacked up, it becomes opaque. You see, you can no longer see the black glove through the very 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 clear car sleeves right so individually these are clear together they are opaque now that means something this is an FW ink by the way link in the description below these are awesome uh, that means you're gonna paint your model like an off-white maybe a zenith or something like that and then you're gonna use say a let's pretend this is a contrast red ink or con GW's contrast red let's pretend right what happens when you put this red over this white it's going to be a very bright pinkish red because you're gonna your eyeball is gonna see the light that goes through the thin layer of red to the white undercoat and then the light is going to bounce back to your eye but in the recesses you're just gonna see solid red and if you say painted a dark kind of zenithal, then it's possible you could get even darker recesses. But also remember, even a black glove is still completely blocked out by clear plastic with enough layers. So this one's kind of a weird one, but I wanted to help people maybe understand how I thought the contrast paints are uh, working and why they're not exactly just a glaze or an ink or a wash of some sort and that's mainly because they are supposedly shrinking so they're loose on the model when you paint it and then they're supposed to shrink into a tight fit and that shrinkage is what pulls the pigment into the recesses creating the gradation of values uh, so hopefully that helps you understand the Games Workshop contrast paints coming out. 
I probably won't be picking them up anytime soon. I will be very excited, though, to see uh, great painters use them and maybe come up with cool, interesting techniques with them. And then maybe I'll pick some up to mimic some of those techniques. Or, or you know, besides that, I'm pretty happy with just using the airbrush for some kind of gradation base coat and then a wash with some uh, flow improver mixed into it to kind of deepen the shadows and I kind of go from there. So that's all I got for right now. Please subscribe. We're painting this little halfling and uh, if you head over to my Instagram, you can check him out when he's done. He will be my Dungeons and Dragons character. I haven't played Dungeons and Dragons in like 15 years. So I'm going to try that coming soon, but uh, not on the channel. I might talk about it once or twice, but uh, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully if you have any questions on contrast paint or painting in general, leave them in the description below. Not the, <laughs> Leave them in the comments below and I'll talk to everybody soon. Also, uh, real quick. We're still giving away Nagash when we hit a thousand subscribers, so please subscribe and go comment on the Nagash giveaway video. Thank you.